Okay, this is the third time now in two weeks the chicken door seems to have closed early on us leaving all the girls scattered in the garden and for some reason we've yet to get this door to open in the morning so we're having to get up early and manually come out and open the door so I guess it's time to order the same um, automated door unit for the door that Ian's fitted but Ian's adamant he's going to get this door working so I'll give him another week mm -hmm. right wish me luck it's time to uh, turn my torch on and search for these chickens Hello, welcome back to uh, my second part from my automatic chicken door opener. As the title says, my Arduino solar off-grid system failed miserably. Um, so I have gone for the partner to the door that I'd already installed, chicken guard. So um, follow this along, I'll explain why my Arduino um, off-grid project failed miserably. Um, and just see how easy it is to install the chicken. Right, a quick unboxing for the uh, the chicken guard. It came within uh, probably two days from Amazon. So a little bag of screws, four AA batteries, and they've even got a uh, chicken guard emblem on there. The actual unit itself, it's um, unscrewed, so I'm assuming those four screws are for that. And there's the, uh, the string that will attach to the uh, existing chicken door. And the instructions. Inside the actual unit itself is another set of four screws. Now they're the ones for the front panel. And also a, a little rubber strip that will go inset into the lid here. So I'm just going to install that now. So I'm just going to disconnect the motor just here. And that allows the front panel to come off. I'm going to just feed this little strip all the way around. Like this. There is quite a bit of excess, so I'm just going to trim that off, like that, squidging back in so there's... I'll just install the four batteries, and I'm just going to sit that inside for now, like that. Put the motor connector back on, it is labelled black and red just in case you pulled it off without actually checking like I just did so black is to the top All right I am going to connect this now put that on and screw these it does say in the manual not to use a power tool so there we are so all the indoor installation is done. As you can see, this is a chicken guard premium, which means it does have the photo cell. Hopefully that'll work a lot better than my current system that, um, as you know, hasn't been working too well. Here's our current door, which just happens to be the chicken guard door. Um, it was just nice and light and very easy to install. So uh, that's why I put it onto our DIY coop. Um, I've just got a few things to deinstall. So first of all, the cord for my motor inside. Just taking this cord off. The other part that I don't need is the outer pulley here. So that can come off too. In the instructions it says that has to be in line with the door. So as you can see, I have this trim strip here. So Lucky I can use the line of the old cord. So, oop. I'm 
Right. I'm going to actually uh, follow the instructions. Select the format for 12 or 24. 24. Press the up and down to set the hour. So today, uh, at the moment, it is 15.12. Press the menu to save. 15 12 so time is done continue yes door calibration press and hold the up until the door is fully open Now this is quite handy because uh, the amount of time I installed those small uh, magnetic sensor switches it'd be much easier just to calibrate the motor for this. So I'm going to wait till it comes there. When the door is fully open let go of the OP button. Press the menu to save. Saved. Now press the door down until the door is fully closed. Press the menu to save. The door will now fully open. It's about very similar speed to my, uh, my Arduino setup. So no doubt um, Wonky the chicken will be headbutting the door open tomorrow morning. Calibration complete. Continue? Yes. So now all that's left to do is to uh, deinstall my other system. My poor little Arduino project sort of failed miserably, not just because of the Arduino, but of the, uh, the charge controller as well. Um, it kept turning off and dropping power to the Arduino, so none of that system worked. Um, yeah, there was just too many little problems all adding up, um, so it was inconsistent and too worrisome for the chickens. Morning, Tyson. Hello. Breakfast time? Okay. Oh. Here you go, mate. So, are the chickens out on the first? Oh my gosh, there they are. There they are. At last, this is the first morning that the door has opened since. I put in an automatic door, so it was worth the investment. Here they are, happy chickens. Now let's see if they've given me happy eggs. Not yet, that's because my trying to stop them oh there's a happy egg not very happy because I had blocked in the boxes today because oh yeah I'm a bit tired of them sleeping in the in the nest boxes I've also made a lower one um, there's one up there but we do have one uh, very matriarchal hen and she's basically stopping all the rest roost up on top of the perches. So most of them are all sleeping on the floor. So I'm trying to figure that one out. Again, comments down in the, uh, the bottom, just to let us know what you'd do with that. Uh, there she is, that matriarchal one. And this is my uh, first attempt at a five bar or maybe four bar gate. Um, we had to put something in place for the chickens. Um, so uh, there's a chicken hut over there. And we've also put in 
this green mesh fence which is one meter off this small dwarf wall here so um, here they all are I'm gonna let them all back in because we have to do a bit of painting but uh, that seems to work all right there's the other side and I put this uh, mesh on the back to stop any dog heads or any chicken heads meeting each other so that was the uh, main project for the week and hence uh, why the video was uh, delayed slightly. So it's been just over a week now with the chicken guard and uh, it's been worth it working flawlessly. Uh, I did have one issue um, here. The wood slightly expanded uh, or actually contracted because it was drying out. This was quite wet wood. So it misaligned the rails. So it was struggling uh, raising the door up but um, I've realigned those and all the works fine. One thing I do like about the chicken guard is this lux adjustment. This was the problem I had with my Arduino system. It wasn't reading the uh, the right sort of light levels and hence at night it was shutting too early or uh, in the morning it wasn't just opening it at all. So here you can actually uh, click on Lux and opens on 200, closes on 120, but the fact here, you can click to read, and it actually reads what the Lux is at the moment. So at night time, you get an idea of um, when it's getting dusk, that you can actually say, oh yeah, I think about 120 is fine. And um, so far, it's been, it's been fantastic. So every night, it's been closing probably about half an hour after um, the sun's gone right down. All the chickens have been in. And in the morning, I set the timer on. So in the morning, I have the timer. And uh, at night, I have the, uh, the light sensor. So as I mentioned before, now we are happy with the, uh, the chicken guard. I'm going to uh, take all of that out of there and change it into another ventilation window. So I'll put some grill up there, cut a hole in, put some grill in, and then I've got um, a summer ventilation flap. Bit of a shame, but um, that's the way things go sometimes, isn't it? So thanks for watching. Um, it's a bit of a short video, just an update really on the uh, automatic door. Um, please press that subscribe, click the thumbs up, um, it really helps the channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.